Okay, so I just took a 16 hour flight to Singapore. I'm on my way to Malaysia and I have about an eight hour layover. And I hopped in an Uber and I came straight here to downtown Singapore. We've got the big Ferris wheel. We have, I mean, we are just in the middle of the city, but I'm here for a very specific reason. And that reason should be swimming up any minute now. You hear those squeakers? Those are smooth-coated otters. A family of them have taken up residence right here in downtown Singapore. On this morning, they went up on the dock to play a little bit and look for an easy meal, but with no luck, they went to where they do their best hunting, in the water. So first of all, whoa, that's some fresh fish. Second of all, can we take a moment to look at how strange otter fingernails are? Look at those things. Now besides obviously liking fish, otters eat all sorts of things, like crustaceans, mollusks, frogs, and even small mammals if they can catch them. But this guy clearly likes some fish. So I want you to take a moment to really listen to what otters sound like. It's a little bit unusual and, yeah, pretty squeaky. This one got separated from the rest, so it's calling out saying, hey, you guys find any fish? Or something like that. Now, after a while, I went to see what else downtown Singapore has to offer. The gardens by the bay were incredible, but when I went back to check on the otters, they had gotten just plain silly. I mean, look at that guy. Now, besides being endlessly entertaining, observing these otters out of the water allows us to see some of the features that can help you identify the species. A blunt nose, a really flat tail, a cream-colored belly, and those webbed feet. So this is lining up to probably be one of my favorite layovers I've ever taken. It was a 20-minute ride from the airport, got dropped off, walked over here, watched the sunrise, and then I got to see six otters do their thing. It's pretty incredible here, because if you think about it, in the 1970s, otters were basically extinct in all of Singapore. You couldn't find them anywhere. But people became aware, people have kind of rallied behind conservation, and now these otters are kind of local celebrities. There's a family of actually 10 that live here, and people love them and celebrate them. I think that is a great way that wildlife and humans can live side by side if we appreciate them for what they are, make them our local mascots, and then uh, leave them for people like me to hop off the airport and take a look.